vertically integrated business. My wife and I, we own our own farmland in the Dominican Republic, and we manufacture premium chocolate. So from the entire value chain, from the farm all the way to the final product, we own the entire process. And our philosophy is to spread that, spread that philosophy to cocoa farmers all over the world, where we must transform ourselves from selling our beans at Farm King to transforming our industry and taking control of it and manufacturing our own products from our own commodity. So that's the philosophy of our business. And um, that philosophy of your business and your personal philosophy, do you find um, um, something similar to that in Ondo State Nigeria? Absolutely. This is why um, this voyage has been very divine because I met Governor Mamiko uh, almost a year ago and we share that same passion, that same philosophy. So we instantly uh, came together and we decided that he had the same worries in his life. Where he grew up in a cocoa farm and he wanted to find a way to help farmers add more value to their cocoa. And when we met and he was able to see the transformation that I've done on my own with my own farm, he said, that's the answer. That's the answer for my people. So I'm here today with in so much humbleness and so much gratitude to the governor who has paved the way for this to happen. And this partnership is going to transform not only the industry in Andu State, but the, in the cocoa industry all over the world. And this is what taking ownership of our commodity is all about. And um, because you took raw cocoa beans from Oda to the United States of America, yes. you must have done some analysis on the product. Absolutely. Yeah. One of now, the do you see an end by way of quality? If um, the, the, the cocoa beans is processed um, um, in a qualitative manner, the way you just told farmers. So one of the things that we have to remember is that God doesn't make imperfection. Okay? Every single bean all over the world is quality because God doesn't make imperfection. It's how we treat that bean and how we process it to bring out the love and the passion out of that, that bean into chocolate. That's the nature of what we were embarking on. So what we did was we handed over a process in how you properly cultivate, how you properly skin the beans to ensure that you're using the best beans possible. And then how you take those beans and you ferment them and you dry them properly. Then what happened was they shipped the beans to us in the United States. And we were able to take those beans and convert them into premium single estate, older estate chocolate. And we delivered that today. And that was the promise that we had. So now that we know that quality exists, it's time now for everybody to come together and do the right thing and transform this industry, particularly here in Andu State, spearheaded by our government to ensure that we transform the livelihoods of our farmers. Because that's what this is all about, is transforming this industry and giving the farmers a, a larger equity in this industry, which has not existed for hundreds of years. Do you think farmers here will be able to do that? Absolutely, no doubt in my mind. I'm a, I'm a living example of it. I'm a farmer first. And I've been able to, to do what I've done through the grace of God but I'm that example, and I thank God for giving me, for giving me the privilege for me to be able to share that passion across the globe. So we start here, the momentum starts here, but this is, this is to spread the word to every cocoa farmer, and it's not only about cocoa, but it's all of our commodities that we have in our countries that we need to transform into our own products for the consumer. And the, and, the, and the exportation of our raw ingredients is diminishing our job creation, is diminishing the possibility of wealth. So we need to change that. But the power is in our hands. You know, Governor Mamiko is, is pioneering it. But at the end of the day, it's the farmers that really have to put forth the effort to ensure that the quality comes out of the farm.
nearly got the farmers off their feet when you described Governor Mimiko as your brother and you did some historical analysis. Can you tell me that story? Okay. Well, I mean, you know, when I met Governor Mimiko and I came and visited Andu State for the very first time and I saw the caring heart from this governor of his mega schools that he's built, which has computer labs, you know, health room facilities. When I was able to go and visit the mother and child hospital and see what Governor Mamiko is doing to transform his state and his people, that's the philosophy that I subscribe to. Because as I always say, we only we only our life is not guaranteed forever. What we do when we're here is extremely important. So we need to be able to reach out and give of ourselves to those who don't have to transform their lives. Because at the end of the day, that's why we're here. That's why we're here on earth, is to be able to empower others to be self-sufficient and have an opportunity that's not been given to them before. That's the philosophy. That's simple. Thank you so much. That's well. That's well.